You ready? Greatest common factor, the hard one. But first, let's go back to that last video. If you want to see the last video, it's right there. So then, right here, I see that I have a common factor of P. So what are we going to do with that P? We pull that P out. Yes, we factor out the P. You could factor it out in front or factor it out back. And left over on the inside are the leftovers. That's that 4 plus A. Okay. That is an A and not a 9. Nines are just A's with long hair. Where we went back and we looked at the easier ones. So we could do one of these more harder ones. Just like we had that P. See, I have a common factor of X plus 3. Perhaps you say yellow square and yellow square. Because I have a yellow square right there and right there. I can pull the yellow square out. I'm going to put the yellow square back. Okay, so then I pull that yellow square out and left over on the inside, like I had over there, I'm going to have the leftovers, the 4 and that A. This is a 4 plus A. Okay, and that is an A and not a 9. Nines are just A's with long hair. Ah, yes, what was in that square? It was x plus 3. Tee hee, tee hee. What are we doing? We're giving you the tools and the skills necessary to factor by grouping, which is coming up next. And then, finish him. Write it all nice and stuff. So that's x plus 3 times 4x, whoop, that's 4 plus a. Dunna, dunna. and flower. Next. I'm over here. Yes. Bam. What are you going to do? And what do we have? We have 4x squared times this quantity. That's x. 3x minus 1. And over here we see 3x minus 1 too. But what are you going to do? Well, I don't know. What are you going to pull out? Well, I don't know. Do we have a common factor? Well, I don't know. I want to make it look like that last one. Here we see we have that x, 3x minus 1, and that 3x minus 1. That's fun. That could be our common factor. What can I pull out of here? I'm going to pull that 1 out. And I'm going to literally write it right there so that we can see what we pull out in our common factor. Mm -hmm. Here we have a common factor of 3x minus 1. I'm not going to do the yellow box on this one. Bam! I'm going to pull that 3x1, 3x minus 1 out front or out back. You know what? Just to show that we can put it out back. I'm going to put it out back. Bam! Stick that 3 in there. Minus 1. Fun. That was the common factor that was in each one of those. And now we write the leftovers in another bubble. So in another bubble, we're going to end up leaving over that 4x squared plus 1. And you just finished your factoring, or your greatest common factor, the GCF. It's got two. It's got three. 